nicknamed the Houdini of the hardwood for his flair and showmanship. Bob Cousy was one of the first superstars of the NBA, the 1957 most valuable player and a six-time champion Cousy led the NBA in assists for an amazing eight straight seasons. Bob Cousy, All-American from Holy Cross, six feet one, weighing 175 pounds. Although small by pro standards, Bob is one of the all-time basketball greats. Real good outside one-handed shot, and he was a tremendous passer, particularly a tremendous long passer. Uh, a lot of times he could throw the ball the length of the court and still hit his man for a layup. Best distributor I've ever seen or played with. I mean, everybody got a chance to touch the ball. And the key thing about him was that he knew where to get to the ball. You know, a lot of players are passers, but he could get you the ball where you needed to get it and with the kind of velocity that you could handle. It's all over. And there they go. What did we get? There weren't many ahead of him. Uh, because he defined what a point guard is and should be with his passing, his ball handling, and his ability to create for other players. I was just fascinated looking at him. You were thinking, man, what, would, what was he like in his, in his early days? Because basketball hadn't evolved to that style of play. See Bob Cousy going behind his back. Because, you know, you couldn't go behind your back back in the old days and going behind your back through his leg, making passes over the shoulder. That's some beautiful play. You can't beat that. Bob Cousy's nickname kind of tells you everything you need to know about the style of player he was. They called him Houdini of the hardwood. Really crazy. I mean, he really revolutionized the point guard position with the dribble, with the pass. A lot of times back then, players would pass with two hands. He could pass off the dribble with either hand. But what's really crazy about Bob Cousy is the Celtics really didn't want him. They sort of took him reluctantly. Uh, but Red Auerbach was sold after the first practice. However, he pulled him aside and said, kid, you know, you're flashing everything. But if your teammates drop the pass, that's on you. And that made Bob Cousy even better passer because he learns his teammates' instincts, where they like to have the ball, when they should get the ball. And all of a sudden, you look up, eight straight years, the assist champion in the NBA. How important was he to the early days of the Celtics dynasty? Well, along with Bill Russell, really triggered it. I mean, you know, 13 years with the Celtics, 13 all-star teams, that is obviously an amazing percentage. Uh, but back then, you know, Kuzi was hard to guard because he was tricky. There were no other guards like him. He can get the ball to his teammates. He didn't really have to worry about defense because, of course, Bill Rus Russell was back there. And he really launched the Celtics dynasty back in the 50s. Flashy, even in the 50s, one of the great early ball handlers in NBA history, Bob Cousy. I think it was in Hawaii that we first met. He said, we think we're going to draft you, and we hope that we get a chance to draft you. I'm like, man, any, I don't care when you draft me. I don't know about anybody else, but me playing under you, I can only get better because I can learn the game. Because he, to me, he was at that time, size-wise, one of the best point guards in the NBA. 